Sometimes you want all you can eat meat for lunchtime and you want to find a good happy hour spot. And we're about to find out if this place is good because we heard that this is kind of similar to a chubby cattle experience. And today we don't have a whole lot of time, so we want to see if this one is a faster and a cheaper alternative. Let's go check it out. If you remember this bowling alley, comment down below. They describe this as a premium barbecue with a Chinese twist. <laughs> this is the sign right here. <laughs> For happy hour, they have marinated prime beef belly, Mongolian prime beef belly, marinated beef brisket, quite a lot of menu items to choose from. So during lunch happy hour, which is Monday to Sunday, 12 p.m. to 4, and then if you want the ultimate, you can pay for the ultimate. And they have a membership just like Chubby Cattle too. Biggest difference, I think they don't have as much an all-you-can-eat Wagyu. They're just like an all-you-can-eat beef and pork restaurant. Also, if you come here right when they open like we did, there's nobody here. <laughs> We're the first ones here. I've never heard anyone talk about this place, so let's see how it is. We found some of the rules here. So there is a 90-minute limit, six dish around, and kids get a discount. Under four is free. So we counted 12 tables, so not really big. And it doesn't look like you can accommodate like a really big party here. I think that's the, the downside. You might have six in a table, but that's already really squished. But I really feel like so much less stress because I don't have to wait in line. I am a big fan about cooking with coal. Coal makes it really delicious. Yeah, it's a coal world. This is the crystal skin jelly. What does that mean? I don't know. But this sauce is really good. I really don't know what it is, but it tastes good. It tastes like Korean acorn jelly. Acorn jelly. All right, the meats are here. It's meeting time. Oh, look at that. It sucks it all up. One of the beefs that our friends say about chubby cattle is that she didn't like that it was so smoky. She felt like it wasn't like working very well. Same cumin powder that you get at like those skewer restaurants. It's really good. Someone who might not be very familiar with cooking meat might not like this place as much because the server doesn't come and help you cook. You have to cook it yourself. So fast. Less than two minutes. Oh, beef belly. This one's really fatty. Oh, this is gonna cook super fast. I'm gonna eat this tongue first. Very good. Wagyu fried rice. Wow, this is so smoky. Yeah, this is a major plus for saving your clothes. Beef belly. Oh, so tender, so soft. Mmm, I think it's a little bit marinated because there's just some sauce on there. It's sweet, like a sweet soy sauce. You can kind of see it here. Everything good so far, huh? Yeah. And extremely fast. Wow. The thin slicing on it makes the knife. I think you cooked it perfectly. And then beef belly. This beef belly is really good. I feel like this is going to be hard to top. But it comes with a little little shrimp and some, and some what looks like uh, frozen veggies. <laughs> Perfect temperature. This is like an essential for barbecue. And next up is the lamb. Lamb shoulder. This one is marinated with like cumin. All right, I'm going to try the rice. There's not a lot of wagyu in there. Some pieces. There's some corn, egg, and wagyu apparently. It smells really good though. Mmm, it's good but that's a really big bowl of rice. I like this place already, like a lot. So it turns out this cooked a little bit faster than we thought. It's challenging to cook when you have to eat. Yeah, don't put it in the middle if you don't want it to cook so fast. Changed out the stove already. Mmm, this lamb is good. More cumin, more delicious. It's not you can eat Wagyu. They do have really good quality beef. The portion here is pretty big compared to chubby cattle. Like, every time we ask for meat, like, it comes in this big plate. I know we're like one of two tables that are here for lunch, but they're very attentive. Also, one of the funnest things to get at barbecue, corn cheese. The jowl is ready. What is a jowl? We'll do some research. And rib fingers. Yeah, a little bit of a warning. Every time you put it in the middle, it like cooks ultra, ultra fast. It's definitely pork. It's pretty good. It's a little salty. It's already pretty much done. A little bit fatty. You can see like on this side. A little bit fatty. And this is like the polar opposite of the pork gel. The pork gel is like extremely salty. The 
Rib Fingers is actually just beef flavor. It does have like a really nice chew to it. Once again, nothing a little cumin can't fix. I don't think we've had anything bad yet. <laughs> Knock on wood, but we haven't had anything bad. Yet. Just that the pork is salty. That's it. Got a small side of tempura. Was a mushroom. Unfortunately, we wanted bone broth soup, but they were out today. I know, this thing was sold out yesterday. Oh, now it's cooking. A lot of cheese. I always finish for ice cream, always. This ice cream is better than the one from Mikia. The one from Mikia is like freezer burn. Yeah, and we also got a strawberry one. It's a good way to end the meal. I really like this place. Here's all the things that we got. The long list of stuff. $72. Wow, your drink, your drink was three fifty. dollars Yeah, all the drinks are three fifty. dollars It's okay though, but we felt like we got our money's worth very early on.